Well, here we are. It's Turkey Day, 2007. Happy Turkey Day. And uh, just counting a little time. Uh, so I figured I'd shoot a little video of my bug. I've had some interest in it. Uh, it's a 74 Beetle Baja kit on the outside. I'll show you the outside in a few minutes here. And uh, I've put uh, Mega Squirt fuel injection on it with Ford EDIS ignition. Um, it's turbocharged, intercooled. Oh, it works. So I figured I'd show you the Mega Squirt first. We're inside, of course. Um, here's my uh, here's a laptop hooked to the Mega Squirt setup. If, if you've never seen Mega Squirt or used Mega Squirt, um, basically you can tune it with the laptop, then disconnect the laptop. It's a standalone ECU. Um, this is called Mega Tune, the software that you see here. Let's see if I can get rid of the glare. And it'll show you various engine parameters if I turn the key on. Start to read some things if I start the engine here. See, you got RPM over here. You got engine vacuum. You got a whole bunch of things. Ignition advance, apparently. Pulse width in the injectors. And I've got a wide band O2, so it shows actual mix ratio. Right now, as you can see from the coolant temp, the uh, engine is cold. With an air cooled VW, it runs about 200 when it's hot. And uh, so right now the uh, air fuel ratio is pretty rich with uh, uh, warm up enrichment. Okay. The Mega Squirt unit itself, there's the Mega Squirt 2 unit. Um, it's a silver box. Right underneath of it is the Ford EDIS ignition module. This is all mounted on the um, sort of firewall for a Beetle. The uh, other stuff on that silver plate on the left there is a couple of relays and fuse blocks and whatnot for the Megasport unit uh, and a little terminal strip that I use to bring the wideband O2 in because I don't really intend to run the wideband O2 for uh, forever. Uh, as you can hear as the engine warms up it's starting to trim the idle back down uh, so I don't know hopefully it doesn't stall. It's cold cold running uh, tuning. I still haven't really done real well. So. Uh, we'll get out and take a look at the engine. what you might call a really low budget setup. This is the rest of the car. I've been racing it in Rallycross, so uh, I've got numbers on it. 